Welcome back to Guitar Search Saturday. My name's Shane. A big thanks to Rhiannon for being behind the camera for this one. We're at Good Guys Music and Sound in Honolulu, Hawaii. If you're in the city of Honolulu, come and check out this shop. It's got a great vibe, lots of new and used equipment in here, and some of which, which I've already seen through the window, I can't wait to get in and take a look at. A massive thanks to Brian and Chris for letting us do this walkthrough. I really appreciate it. I'll leave links to their shop in the description below. Let's go in and check it out. Good Guys Music and Sound first opened on Kapahulu Avenue back in 1999 and has since become a go-to destination for musicians all over the island. Good Guys Music and Sound stock a whole lot of electric guitars, acoustic guitars, ukuleles, bass guitars, bass amps and live sound equipment. And if you need your favourite guitar service, they also offer that in-house. It's something always fun for me to go into a shop that sells new and used equipment. You never know what you're going to find. And Good Guys Music and Sound is full of really great gear. I love these shops where there's amplifiers stacked on top of each other side by side here. There's lots of familiar stuff and things that I've used before, as well as a number of guitar brands I've not seen until right now. So we'll start by showcasing a few of those. <laughs> that always happens to me. This guitar's a Tajima. This is comparable to a high-end Squire or something like an SX. This particular one has a nice big round neck on it as well, which is great for an inexpensive guitar. We get two single coil pickups here and a humbucker in the bridge. So it's that typical kind of HSS Strat config. The toggle switch feels good and everything on this is pretty comparable to a high-end Harley Benton, Squire Classic Vibe, or even an SX guitar, but definitely nowhere near as expensive as a Classic Vibe. The standout is definitely the neck. It feels amazing for a guitar at this price. And they also make another range of guitars that are built in Brazil. And we'll take a look at those in just a moment. They also have T-style, Tele-style electric guitars and typical Strat. So if you want one with three single coils, they've got it as well. Again, the neck on this feels great and it's not overly heavy, which is one of my complaints about other series of guitars that I've picked up. So overall, these feel really good. We may actually be taking one of these home. We'll see how we go. One of my favorite combo amps of all time is the Fender Supersonic 60. This has one of the best drive channels Fender ever made and also has two really usable clean channels. You get two voicings, you get a Vibralux, which is that typical black face Fender sound. Then you also have the basement setting, which sort of gives you more of a pushed mids tweed kind of tone. I never loved the stock speaker and I just looked at the back of both of these and the speakers have been changed to much better options. This one over here has a Jensen and this one over here has an upgraded Celestian speaker, but Interestingly enough, for a short period of time, Fender discontinued these, then they re-released them. So I don't know what happened there, but the Supersonic 60 is definitely one of my favorite combos ever. If you're looking for a pedalless platform just for getting great tones with a Strat or an ES335 or anything, these work really, really well. So great combo amplifiers, definitely worth giving them a look. It's weird that Fender kind of discontinued these because the 60s, in my opinion, were a step up from the 22s. Stacked on top of a Studio Pro 110, is another Studio Pro 110. These are one of my favorite solid state amplifiers of all time. Right behind the PV Bandit, these teal stripe ones sound really, really great. These things are bulletproof and they're ear bleedingly loud considering they've got a 10 inch speaker. These amps are great for beginners or anyone who wants to just do any type of live playing where you don't really want to compromise your tone but you still want something that's plenty loud that you don't have to worry about as much. So PV Man back in the day, Big thumbs up. I've just found something that I didn't expect to see in here from Galleon Kruger. So here it is up close. This is the 100 watt Galleon Kruger lunchbox amplifier. I borrowed one of these off a good friend of mine, Dave. So shout out to Dave. It's rated at 100 watts RMS. Even though it's tiny like this, these things are loud as, this amp weighs a ton, but we get a clean channel over here. We also get a gain channel, which allows you just to basically use it as it is. This is more aimed towards someone who wants to rock. It's a pretty, heavy sort of sound. We also get an echo delay and chorus over here as well, thanks to these push buttons. So a very functional amp. We also get a direct output so you can go directly into a PA system via an XLR microphone cable. I don't think there's been many companies that have made anything quite this robust since this in a small package. So it's great to see one of these. This is the first one I've seen in a second hand guitar shop. Here we have an original 1965 Fender Super Reverb, my favorite amp of all time. The great thing about this is it looks like it's in immaculate condition because it has been repaired slightly. They said that it's been retolexed 
and some of the speakers have also been replaced in the back. But other than that, it's in awesome condition, original electronics. Like the Fender Twin, we get two separate channels. We get a normal channel, and then we also get that vibrato channel that shares the reverb circuit as well. And that's where I would live. Now, the cool thing about this amp, even though it's huge, it's only rated at 45 watts, which is far less than the 100 watt of the Twin. So these don't stay clean the further you turn them up. They actually get dirty and gnarly. And if you've ever heard Tommy Castro, live at the Fillmore. He played with one of these cranked. It's one of the best blues guitar tones of all time. In this section of the shop, we've got a whole lot of acoustic guitars, ukuleles, also some more electric guitar amplifiers. So we're gonna check out a couple of the acoustics that have really caught my eye. Let's take a look. Here we have a Godin A6 Ultra acoustic electric guitar. One of the most unique things about this is we get two pickup systems. So there's a piezo pickup built into it, which is that acoustic sound. And we get a humbucker in the neck position. We also get this five band EQ system here. One of the most interesting things about this, other than the fact it's made in Canada, which is a really good thing to see. It also has two outputs on the back of the guitar, and I'll show you those up close in just a moment, but it allows you to either get a blended signal out into one source or a designated left and right signal out, whether that's the acoustic or electric going into an amplifier or a PA system at the same time. And then you can kind of blend them with the volume controls on the guitar. So these are beautiful. I reckon one of the most highly underrated guitars of its type. I know Fender do very similar things to that now, but Godin, man, these ones are the way to go. Here we have the Fender Redondo acoustic guitar. This doesn't have a pickup system. It's a straight up acoustic. It's a three quarter size acoustic, so it's far smaller than a normal one. And we get the Fender Stratocaster headstock and a very electric guitar vibe on the neck, but super cool, man. What a great little guitar. If you're looking for a travel acoustic, this would be a no brainer. There's so many great guitars just on this wall alone, and it goes three or four deep in some sections of the shop. But I thought we'd take a look at one that really caught my eye. What you're looking at is one of the high-end electric guitars from Tajima. This is the Jet Blues Cosmos. This Lake Placid Blue looks beautiful, and Tajima make their own pickups in-house. These are Alnico 5 magnets. We get a cedar body and a Pau Ferro fretboard with 22 frets. The very tone selector that you can see down the bottom of the guitar gives you five different voicings with exactly the same pickups. This changes the response of the pickups on the high, low end, and how much sparkle and bite you can get. Take a look at this arch top. It's absolutely beautiful. I knew nothing about this guitar, so I hassled Brian to do this section on the video. Thank you so much, Brian. Let's check it out. It's a... Uh, the Keystone. And it is made in Japan, early 2000s, single, I think it's a Kent Armstrong, Johnny Smith neck mounted pickup, um, spruce top, has a beautiful maple, curly maple back. Yeah, that's something else. It's actually a used one that uh, we originally sold it to a customer a while back, but he, he uh, traded it in or something. I can't remember. Yeah, beautiful. This is the sort of thing you don't find every day in your regular guitar shop. Thank you so much, Brian, for giving us the rundown of this beautiful guitar. Good Guys Music and Sound also carry a big range of new Fender guitars, and one in particular I wanted to take a closer look at. Here we have a Fender Thinline Telecaster made in the US. For years, Fender were making these in Mexico and they were pretty solid instruments, but this, in my opinion, is the way to go. And I'm gonna tell you why. The wide range humbuckers weren't my personal favorite pickups of all time. And having traditional single coils in a guitar like this is awesome. Thing that you'll notice as soon as you pick this up is that it's about seven pounds, just under seven pounds in weight. So it weighs absolutely nothing. Definitely one of the lightest electric guitars we've had a chance to check out. We get vintage style tuners on the headstock. String just goes down and these are my favorite as well. It means taking strings off when you have to do a string change is nice and simple. So I'm a big fan of those kind of tuners. They're actually my favorite, even over locking tuners. We get the three saddle bridge down here, not brass or anything, but I think on a guitar with this sort of styling, the chrome looks far better. As you can see, this is a limited edition one, so a Fender special run, meaning you probably won't find this in a year from now. So if you're keen on this, check out the shop. I'll link it below.
There's also a massive selection of effects pedals, both new and used here at Good Guys Music and Sound. Some of the brands include T-Rex, Boss, Fender, Nuex, Keeley, Digitech, Marshall, and many others. The new X Steel Singer might be the most affordable dumble in a box pedal I've had a chance to test. I did a full review of this range of new X pedals and this one really stood out. I think if you're looking for a really thick overdrive tone, this would be a no-brainer. Here's a delay pedal you don't hear a lot about. This is the Mr. Echo from SIB. One of the best features on this pedal is the slam button on the left. What this does, it takes the pedal irrespective of the settings and puts it into full oscillation mode. And then you can release the button and it goes back into regular mode. So for those who like to get a little bit crazy from time to time, this pedal will definitely deliver. My favorite thing about finding a shop like this is the fact you never know what you're going to find, whether that's used amplifiers, used guitars, or just some quirky stuff you wouldn't find in a regular retail shop that only sells new gear. So for me, a shop like this is ideal. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. A massive thank you to Brian from Good Guys Music and Sound here in Hawaii for letting us do this walkthrough. Just to let you know, this video is not sponsored. So a massive thank you to the Patreon crew and the channel members for their support. It allows us to do really great things like this. And also a huge thanks to Rhiannon for being behind the camera, improving the quality of this particular series. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Links to them will be below. Catch you soon. See ya.